Hello, my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to service and maintain your rear derailleur's jockey wheels. It's a common feature for high-end group sets, like this SRAM Force group set, to have sealed cartridge bearings in the jockey wheels. These are fantastic, but if ridden in filthy conditions for long periods of time, or jet washed, then eventually water will get into the bearing and it can seize. So it's a good idea to try and maintain them. It's a lot cheaper than re replacing them. Even a jockey wheel that has seized completely can sometimes be brought back to life with a bit of love. You don't need many tools to carry out this job. It really is quite simple. And it's worth doing as a, as a service to, to maintain your bike, uh, but you can also use it to revive a jockey wheel that has perhaps seized after you've jet washed it and maybe left it in the shed for a few weeks. Not that any of you do that, of course. But So we have some Allen keys for this RAM rear derailleur. It's a three mil, a pick. This is a dental pick, but you could use a small screwdriver, some disc brake cleaner or alcohol, some paper towel, some good quality grease, preferably attached to a grease gun, some Loctite. This is 243, which is the blue stuff. Firstly, we're gonna remove the jockey wheels. This is the same for any mech that you may have on your bike. Being a SRAM one, in this case, we can lock the cage, which is pretty neat. We need to check the orientation of the chain to make sure that we put the jockey wheels back in the right place. If you're not sure, take a little snap of it with your phone. And we're using our three mil Allen key to undo this retaining bolt. Once that's loose, the jockey wheel should just pop out. Be careful when you remove it that you don't lose any of the spaces that are on either side of the jockey wheel. So with the jockey wheel on the bench, I'm gonna take it apart. So this force jockey wheel has got the same spaces on both sides. On some mechs, they may be different, so check the orientation. Uh, this lower jockey wheel is also marked up with a U on one side and an L on the other. L denotes the lower position, U is the upper. So the L needs to face out from the drive side when you're looking at the bike. The upper jockey wheel that's in that particular mech is actually slightly different. So that always sits in the upper position. Uh, that has only a U on it and that does face outwards towards the drive side as well. So different mechs have different jockey wheels. So yeah, pay attention to make sure that you, you fit them correctly. So with these spaces removed, we're gonna pick the seal out of this bearing. So we're gonna cause as little damage to the seal as possible. Just pop it out like that. We do the same on the other side. And with those out, we can flush the bearing with some solvent. Give it a spin and a good clean. That now needs to sit to one side to dry. So we don't want to put it back together with any solvent in there because it will just dissolve the grease. We're going to clean the seals very gently. You don't want to bend them because they won't work properly anymore. We'll also clean our little bearing covers and using a fresh bit of tissue and a little bit of alcohol or we'll disc brake cleaner, we're going to clean the threads of that bolt just to give the, the Loctite that we're going to apply the best chance of, of going off and, and holding that bolt nice and securely. Once you're sure that the, the bearing is completely dry and free of solvent, we're going to pump some fresh, good quality grease in there. If you rotate the bearing, allow the grease to penetrate and then we can snap our bearing seals back into place on both sides and wipe off the excess. With any luck, if that bearing was seized, it should now be moving again. And if it's a, a newer bearing that's been uh, treated a bit better, then uh, hopefully that will uh, 
extend its lifespan, some extra grease in there. So with our spacers in place, just going to pop a little Loctite, a bit too much there, onto the bolt threads and we can refit it into the derailleur cage. So check the orientation of the jockey wheel before you fit it. So we have our L there, which is facing out for the lower position. Just tighten the bolt back up. Torque setting for this is three Newton meters. If you've got a torque wrench. After you've done the top jockey wheel, then make sure that this is still at three Newton meters. Uh, Cause if you do move the cage, then that could loosen the bolt. And when your chain's sitting on the jockey wheel, this is a narrow wide jockey wheel at the bottom. It isn't at the top on this force mech. Just make sure that the chain is sitting correctly on the, the narrow male links and the wider female links. And that's it. That jockey wheel should provide many more hours of reliable service. So it's all good. Ready to go out and hit the road. Thanks for watching. See you next time.